Good evening, and welcome to Last of Eden's Vices, a Vampire the Masquerade show by Goblets and Gays. In just a moment, I will introduce our kindred for the night. But first, a word about safety. Vampire the Masquerade is a game of personal horror. As such, we might, might touch on topics uh, that one might find sensitive. Uh, the cast and I have completed a session zero. I have their lines and veils. In chat, you will see a list of content warnings for the episode. For our podcast and YouTube listeners, uh, those can be found in the show notes. Now, let's move on to our kindred. They will go around, introduce themselves, telling you who they are and who they're playing. Hello, I'm Aki. My pronouns are she, her, and I will be playing Feline, who also uses she, her pronouns. And um, my clan is Banu Haki. There you go. Remembered it. Hi, y'all. I'm Alyssa. My pronouns are they, them. And I play Nora Wilmore, who is a caitiff. And Nora's pronouns are she, they. Hello, everybody. My name is Nala or Jay. Go by both. My pronouns are they, them. And tonight I am playing Erlen Shu, whose pronouns are Zizim Zirs, and Z is a Malkavian. Hello, I'm Liv. My pronouns are she, they, and I will be playing um, Sylvie, who is a Torador and uses she, her. Hello, I'm Megan. I'm a guest tonight, and I am playing Millie. And Millie's pronouns are she, her, and my pronouns are she, her as well. And near my clan is none of your business. We'll figure it out at some point. Okay. Uh, but yes, last episode, the clan learned that there's somebody poaching in their domain uh, and uh, causing some problems. So they are going to uh, deal with that. Uh, Nora continued a friendship. I guess with uh, a local uh, werewolf, it's friendship, you know. We're not going to mention anything else. Uh, and it, you know, they eventually tracked this poacher to the Zeta Capital uh, Halloween party, and uh, that is where we will uh, pick back up. And I'm going to start off with asking our guest to roll something for me. Okay. Uh, can you give me a uh, a wits awareness roll? Uh, remember okay. to include your hunger. Uh, and you can okay. hold on to that. Just uh, roll it and tell me how many successes you get. Uh, and we'll get back to that. So that's going to be... Two successes. Two successes? It's pretty good. Uh, I will say you are probably not considered surprised when these people barge into the room you're you're in. Uh, they're trying to be sneaky, but they did just break a door. <laughs> but we'll get back to that in just a second. Um, question for the coterie in general. Would... Uh, you have let uh, Sylvie know about what was going on and where to meet you? Yeah, it's all in the group chat. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, Sylvie, you've had a, mm -hmm. a bit of an interesting night so far, but you get a text <laughs> that uh, the the rest of your coterie <laughs> is dealing with something at one of the local fraternities. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is a, at a at their Halloween party, and they think that somebody is, or they don't think, they know somebody is uh, poaching on their domain, which you would know is very frowned upon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's at a Halloween party, okay? Gonna get dressed mm -hmm. real quick, throw together a costume, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna head out uh, immediately because I don't, you know, we don't need to make it weird. I was busy, now I'm back. Exactly. Mm, okay. <laughs> You're back. Uh, I just, I don't like feeling not part of the group. Okay? So valid. FOMO is real, even when you're a vampire. <laughs> we don't need to make it a big thing. Yeah. Erlen in the back, let's Erlen. make it a thing. <laughs> Erlen has made sure to tell you in the group chat, it's about to get creepy, except I spelt creepy as creppy. <laughs> <laughs> So should I, do I have enough time to make a paper mache outfit? What would I even make? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Because you're an art kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's You've got maybe... They went at about 11 o'clock to the party. Yeah. About like a couple hours to pull something together. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, it's, a, it's a Halloween party. And you know what? Who doesn't love being like a little kitsch? Um, mm-hmm. Sylvie's going to pull out like a like pink satin gown. I'm going to go find some like really old blood that's like not good anymore. <laughs> you know how you have like old milk in the mm-hmm. fridge? Um, old blood in the fridge. Old blood in the fridge. I'm going to put the dress on. I'm gonna just going to do like a full carry moment and just like cover myself. Because it's like, it's funny. Mm-hmm. It's funny. In actual blood. Yeah. Also, remind me of your hunger level. Ooh, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Well, if your hunger is three, you should be fine. Uh, you don't have to worry about upending blood over yourself, causing yourself to accidentally hunger frenzy. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you were at four, you'd probably have to make a roll. But for three, you can kind of hold yourself together. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so yeah, you do that and you head to the party. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's it's a classic fraternity, like Halloween party. It's it's technically Greek themed, uh, but, you know, nobody's really sticking to that other than maybe some of the fraternity. Uh, they do have a giant 12 foot skeleton outside with the, a toga on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as I say, as like a former sorority girl, nobody does toga parties anymore. We were all yeah. about thoughts and prayer parties. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, so <laughs> you know, you, you just look like a nun. You just yeah. Like just, a slut. <laughs> slutty priest costume. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Somebody say slutty priest. Something, something, body of Christ. Something, something. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I did this. No, you're good. Uh, <laughs> the blood, me... the booty, you know, all things work. Yeah. Uh, give me a, just as you're walking in to sort of get the lay of the land, uh, let's do a uh, a wits awareness for you. Uh, and because it is a new night, your willpower will have reset. So that is two successes. Uh I think you kind of walk in as the uh, the last of the coterie like walks up the stairs, so you can kind of mm-hmm. see where they they have gone. Mm-hmm. So you can easily find the rest of your group and rejoin them. Yeah, I'm gonna just slide on into the group. Mm-hmm. Pretty He's much always here. Yeah, pretty much just as they uh, open this door to this scene, and I will describe it again. It is sort of a pretty basic fraternity bedroom. Uh, you know, it's whatever you would normally find at a fraternity. It's, uh, and there is Sam, the werewolf, sitting in this desk chair with this strange person, uh, straddling him, uh, and looking like they're about to make him a meal. Uh, and Sam is growling like you would expect a dog to growl. Uh, and you are all, uh, doing that. And, I'll turn it back over to Millie. Uh, Millie, could you just give us a brief description of what you look like and if you're wearing a Halloween costume? Okay, yeah. Uh, Millie is, uh, I don't know, she looks like 19 or 20, probably. She has uh, like brown wavy hair, like shoulder length and uh, lots and lots of freckles. And uh, she, I think, is dressed as Marceline the Vampire Queen, but I think in practice, Practical terms that means she wore like a flannel and i feel like the flannel might be off at the moment so i'm not sure if it's a recognizable costume at the moment but uh yeah she looks pretty um pretty if you saw her on the street you would think she was pretty innocent like she looks a little bit uh goody two shoes considering the situation she's in she has like just like little curls and everything she have bangs yes Ah. I've made a choice. She has curly bangs. <laughs> curly bangs are important. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you are not surprised. Uh, well, you, you heard the people happening and you just... How will you react as these strangers break down this door, keeping you away from your next meal? Okay, well, I... So I'm facing them, right? And, um, and Sam is facing away, or...? Yeah, it, it's kind of... We'll say that the, the desk chair is kind of... 
um, the back of the desk chair is towards the door, so you have a pretty clear line of them, and, like, Sam is, you know. Right. Okay, so I'm on Sam's lap. You mm -hmm. I'm kind of buried in his neck. You see me look up, and I kind of pull away, and I say, hello, this is this room is taken. Find somewhere else. Um, hello, this territory is taken. You find somewhere else. What the fuck are you talking about? Close the door. I'll close the door. Uh, Who are you? <laughs> are you new? Do you know what you are yet? Are you aware that you're feeding on... No offense, Sam. Average-looking boys. Untaken. <laughs> Who do you who do you know here? Um Joey. Go on. Joey uh -huh. Jones. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have to shove her off. <laughs> Sam. Uh Sylvie, make me a Dex or oh no, a strength brawl because you're trying to shove. Uh okay. and okay. Millie, if you want to resist, that will be a uh a dexterity athletics. Okay. Yeah, I will. Okay. Uh, and just, you know, a quick reminder. You can rouse the blood for extra dice if you need to. I'm going to. Um. So roll that one hunger dice. And if it succeeds, you don't get hungrier. If it doesn't, you do. Okay, that succeeded. Succeeded, so. you don't get hungrier, so you get to add two dice to your pool. Okay. All right. That's only one extra success. That's okay. I'm doing my best, y'all. Here, y'all. I'm doing my best. Um, I, I got two successes. I got three. So you uh, will manage to stay in the same place and resist Sylvie's shoving. Yeah. Um, excuse me, it's 2020, and I think that um, Sam here has a right to decide, like, whether or not he consents to this without strangers uh, barging in. Sam, what do you... Sam? Sam? Sam, it's just like, um, yeah, I mean, you're, you're great, but, um, you're familiar with the term catfish? <laughs> we met in person. What do you mean? I mean, maybe that's not the right one. I guess I was bait. Yeah, I was You're bait. bait. You I'm bait? No, no, Sam is. We're trying to catch you because you've murdered three regular people I... on our territory. Nora, if there was a window in this bedroom, Nora has gone to stand in front of the window or any other like manner of egress. Besides I think the there's door. like a window. Yeah. Yeah. I think you must have me confused with somebody else. Murder. I... Do you know that you're a kindred or are you really, really, really into playing dumb? I'm not anything. I haven't pledged anywhere yet. Oh, my oh God. My goodness. Poor baby. Do you even know, like, your sire? Uh, whoever I'm a wants, Pisces. Whoever wants to can give me a uh, a wits awareness roll to see what you can tell about this person. Mm -hmm. I'm down. I'm in, I'm up in their grill. I'm up in her grill. Why not? Wits. You said awareness. Wits awareness. That'll be um four successes straight up. Four successes. Uh, uh, seven for me, adding my lie detector. Yeah. Um, and Sylvie, you got two? I got two. Mm -hmm. Fine. Um, and Erlen, you're out in the hallway, you know, just sort of like occasionally if somebody comes up, you're like, bathroom's out of order or something. Yeah. Erlen's actually, Erlen's outside making up increasingly weirder lies, but uh -huh. I feel like, uh, I, I actually, I want to roll. <laughs> to yeah, see. go for it. Uh, <laughs> Give me a, good my lies uh, are. a manipulation deception roll. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And while uh, they're doing that roll, I'm going to tell everyone what you see. So, Sylvie, you do notice that um, for a kindred, 
Millie is breathing rather relatively hard. Um, you know, like maybe it's a maybe it's just like being used to it, uh, and you know the way the body responds. Uh, and Feline, you can tell a little bit more the the way that like because I imagine Millie, you were getting a little uh, hot and heavy there for a second. Uh, and you're probably a little bit uh, flushed. Uh, it looks a little bit more natural than the blush of life usually does. And N Nora, you get down to the atom. You're like you kind of like you notice that uh, the sort of the sort of the jumping of a vein. You think this person still has a pulse. And what would you roll, Erlen? Oh, I have a question. Uh -huh. there, there's no deception stat. Uh, subterfuge. There it is. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. We jump around games a lot. We do. I was like reading and reading and rereading my sheet. I was like, where's the deception skill? For April uh, Fools, we should play our characters, but in a completely different system and not say a thing. <laughs> that would be so funny. Uh, honey Heist. Let's go. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, my stats, God. Vampire and human. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to rouse the blood to get uh -huh. extra dice. Yep. Yeah. So I do a rouse check. That's a fail. <laughs> uh, yeehaw. Um, but if I fail, I still do it. I just get hungrier. Yeah. Okay. Oh, amazing. Four successes. Four successes. Yeah, you're dealing with a bunch of drunk college kids. Like, oh, uh, usually they're going to believe whatever you say at this point. Cool. You say it with enough, like, conviction that they're like, so there is an alligator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's an orgy that was scheduled in here. I'm, you don't want to go in there. <laughs> Trust me on this one. <laughs> I'm the uh, orgy guard. <laughs> They're like, right on. I did go back downstairs. <laughs> yeah, you have to have been invited to the orgy. <laughs> can, you, can you fucking imagine? Just now, now because you live near campus. Now people are gonna walk up and be like, "So you you schedule the orgies, don't you?" <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just the guard. <laughs> I don't. Do I the heard that you're the guard for orgies. So, Can how you, get you hook me? a brother up? Yeah. <laughs> you. I know. Is there a, guy. a password? Yes, there is. And if you don't know it, scram. <laughs> <laughs> password is sixty nine, six point nine, actually. Gloss. Yeah. If you can recite 15 digits of pi, I'll, I'll let you in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is this this is a special kind of orgy. This is a nerd orgy. Nerd orgy. We're, we're at Fucking brown. <laughs> yeah. This time, we're this time, brown. This time, yeah. this time, this time, women in STEM orgy. All <laughs> I'm talking about my fins and stems, baby. <laughs> but yes, moving back into the room, you've all had these revelations about uh, this person now. Um, Are I have you a... breathing? Ew! No. Is, is there like um some sort of like knowledge based role I could make on this situation? Um, you can um, do an intelligence occult. Yes, yes, I will. Yes, I will. One second. How smart am I? Mm. I know I'm smart. Okay, thank God. <laughs> um, and then you said occult. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just need to grab all my dice. Oh, messy critical. Um, that's six successes. Six successes. But okay. it's messy crit. Uh, six successes, messy crit. Um, let's see. We are going to, you're kind of circling, spiraling, and thinking about, like, what could this be? Um, sometimes thin bloods uh, at night could appear more alive. Um, 
you, you know, you don't have as much information as Nora does. Um, so it's like thin blood, something related with that. Um, t there's, there's talk of, um, y you've heard it because you've been around enough, uh, elder vampires, uh, the whole Gehenna, you know, the blood gets so thin, um, and what would happen to just someone so far down the line? Uh, maybe someone who is a thin blood could be still appear very, very lifelike. Uh, you know, especially because, you know, they don't have vampire teeth. I'm going to ask you a set of questions. And you need to do your best to answer them. To the best of your memory, has anything happened recently where you woke up feeling very hungry and maybe fuzzy on the memory? Could be maybe after a party, but when I say hunger, I mean like just, and nothing makes you feel full. Yes. Oh my God, I've been starving. And you're going through that, like, right now? Yes, and I feel like I was about to maybe make some headway on that front. Like, no offense, before you guys... So you know that you're gonna, like, eat... Eat Sam. Like, I you were trying to eat I clap Sam. my hands over his ears. I'm like... <laughs> he, he knows. He knows. It's okay. This, what I'm trying to understand he is, knows? do you know... Yes. Did you think you were the only one or something? Um, yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling. And nobody was there when you woke up to tell you about I things. I don't think I understand what you mean by the waking up thing. Um, I've just been really How hungry. long have you been this hungry? Like, when when do you remember the, the peak, the start of this hunger like around the time i started here i guess like a year or so right i say to no one <laughs> i'm asking myself yeah like i guess like a year or so i don't know they always say like the freshman 15 so i was like maybe i'm just hungry because i'm at college mm -hmm. Well, uh, your silence is freaking me out a little. Um, what's, it's because what's going on? I'm trying to figure out the best way to tell you these these things without, you know, freaking you out. You've already freaked me out a fair amount. What's your name, by the way? Feline. Hi, Feline. Um, are you a doctor or something? Oh, I'm very far from a doctor. Um, Sylvie, you're way better at talking. Do you want to do the explanation? Or I can keep going. But I just... I'm going to be very blunt. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, I got you. Um, hmm... Have, do you think I've picked up on what exactly is happening here and what kind of vampire we're dealing with at this time? You're, you're guessing it's probably some variation of a thin blood, um, which you Great. you you, you Great. know you know a thin blood, you know what that is. Like. Yeah, yeah, no, I do. Um, okay, uh, Sylvie's gonna Sylvie's gonna walk over and like kind of link arms with Millie and walk Millie. Probably about two steps because I don't think this is a particularly big room. No, uh, I, st no. I, st I like unstraddle Sam. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, pull, pull yourself together. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, I do think I'm like, like kind of like adjusting your clothes, like stroking like your cheeks and stuff, trying to fix up your makeup. I don't know. Um, probably lingering way too much in the slight warmth that is coming off of your body. Um, and <laughs> I'm going to say. So, you remember, like, 
stories about monsters and stuff, right? You yeah, it's Halloween. Goth. It's Halloween. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Um, do you usually have a dress like this? Because this is a good look for you. Okay, anyway. Thank um, you. Monsters are more real than you might think. Okay. I'm technically speaking a monster. And now you are too. The changes that you've been experiencing, the things that have been happening to you, it's because of which you've become, not because you started college. Although college is like super hard. You're doing so great, sweetie. But um, you're a vampire now. And I think if you think about it, and everything that's been happening makes sense, doesn't it? Um, Sylvie, you're touching Millie, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's warm. I know. <laughs> I think I just, I, I've settled on cupping Millie's cheeks. She still has body heat. Yeah. Do you go here? No. No, oh my gosh, I graduated like years ago. You look great. Thank you. I got bitten on like a really good hair day, so it really worked out for me. Yeah. Okay. I'm a vampire. Um, mm -hmm. Did somebody bite me or something? I don't understand. I don't, I think I would yes. remember that. <laughs> what do you mean, guys? Yes. You, not always. Not really, not always. And I'm sorry, because it sounds like they just kind of <laughs> abandoned you. Woo, scary. Um, so sorry about that. But. I, I really don't think that happened. Well, that's. You tell me what you think happened. Nothing. I don't know. I just. I, just, I started feeling different, but I don't have any missing memories or anything. I just, I don't know. I would just go to class and then I would go to opera club and then I would go to sleep. Like there's Opera no... club? Oh my God. I like trying to believe. Okay, anyway, well, no, now... we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that uh, later. We'll talk about it later. I'm, I'm we'll talking about that later. Oh, you came to perform for us that time. You were amazing. I knew you looked familiar. Yes. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh You're God! A yes. Too? Mm. Sorry. What? Are you mm -hmm. a vampire? Does it make you a better yes. singer? No. Um. The trading helps, but um, I am a vampire. Yes. Um. Everybody here, except for Sam. Um, except for Sam. Sam. Something. Sam. Something else. You would have not enjoyed feeding on Sam. Or maybe you would have enjoyed it so much that you would have just died. Who knows? Um, let's not find out. Uh, so sometimes vampires can, you know, change your memories and stuff. It just depends on the, just depends on the person and kind of abilities that they gained. Mm -hmm. Do you, okay, do you remember meeting anybody like magnetic or strange or creepy or really impressive or interesting or maybe you woke up in an alleyway or a dumpster or an abandoned building or just the street or even after a party okay i can see how you would maybe get this impression of me because you walked in on me straddling a guy at a frat party but um... we don't judge we don't judge. Kind of you'd be surprised like... you would be surprised how many people get turned at, at parties I guess that makes sense, but I wouldn't know because I haven't been to that many parties. Like, I... This isn't me. I see. Um, now, this next part. Please don't freak freak out. Okay. I feel very bad for you. Your feet... Because nobody's been here to watch over you and show you how it's done. Your last like three feedings have all ended up in of murders and uh you are in trouble 
But I think we can plead your case. They're not supposed to die? No. No. Oh, fuck. Hey. So you're new at this. You're supposed to be bad. You'll learn. You'll get better. You were, you were supposed to be trained. Okay, but I'm in trouble, though. You yes. are, because we didn't know you. And we kind of are in charge of this, like, I'm entire so campus. I'm sorry. It's fine. Thank you for apologizing, though. I had no idea. I, d- I didn't think you would. But uh, is there a way that we can also run, like, an inside check? <laughs> sure, <laughs> like, yeah. I just, I just want to be, like, thorough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, a, wits, a wits insight? Uh... I'm not going to roll because I'm going to say right now, Sylvie 100% believes Millie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Erlen, are you, uh, are you doing anything else? It doesn't sound like there's a fight going on. So yeah, I think uh, I was just about to uh, cut in and say, um, uh, Erlen just kind of like bangs on the door uh, and you hear your voice outside and, and Erlen's like, Hey, uh, How's it going in there? Do you, do you need help or do you got it? You can come in. How many people did you bring? Don't uh, ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> we brought a lot just in case you were someone who would fight back. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Erlen opens the door like way too fast and kind of like, like, like runs in <laughs> and is kind of like not screaming, but like making a noise. <laughs> Real quick, how many? How I, I rouse the blood for more dice and I'm, mm-hmm. I, I have six, like, I succeeded. How many extra dice do you get? Two. 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 Thank God. Okay. Mm-hmm. Two. Yeah, I, base, I need it for this. For blood this. Potency. Um, and, uh, and Millie, you're the kind of person that, you know, maybe seeks out terror readings, right? Yeah, you recognize Erlen. You've probably been to uh, the, get, you probably got a reading by them. And Erlen, you probably recognize Millie because you're yeah. good with faces. I have oh. a, uh, I have a cartomancy store call or store shop, whatever, uh, called the Midnight Star. Uh, but yeah, so Erlen runs in going like, Wah! oh, okay. It's fine. And I close it's the door. <laughs> close yeah, the Sylvie, door. Sylvie looks at Zim like, hello? <laughs> Erlen kind of like shrugs sheepishly and um, and kind of just, uh, uh, I'm, I'm holding my um, carabiner uh, that has like all my keys and all mm. that stuff on it. But on the carabiner is one of those like pokey sticks that you have for like self-defense or whatever. Yeah. So... Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm like holding that and brandishing that. Mm-hmm. Um, but as soon as obviously nothing's happening, uh, Erlen calms down and just kind of like sheepishly puts that back on my like mm-hmm. belt loop or whatever. <laughs> and I will say that the only reason that Nora has been ignoring this coddling of Millie is because she has been sort of coddling Sam once <laughs> Sylvie pulled him away or pulled Millie away rather. Yeah. Um, so like, I was like, what happened to Sam? He's there. <laughs> He's just there. He's you know. It's just, He's it's... quiet. Yeah. He's just like <laughs> Sam's and quiet. And... It's, it's just Sam and Nora and the like Barbie and Ken pose in the corner, just like nodding <laughs> 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 into. The that noise. really yeah. is just Ken, and Nora <laughs> is like everything. How is Super it Barbie. going? Mm-hmm. Uh, and <laughs> no one's fighting. Uh, you Not got yet. three successes. All right. Um, and the big question is, Millie, are you lying? No. Yeah, y- you don't think Millie is lying. Hmm. Okay. So, um, Erlen, we're dealing with a very new vampire that has no sire. To train them, mm, Millie, right? Yeah, um, Erlen from the Midnight Star. Yeah. Okay, I knew you looked familiar. Hi, um, you're also a vampire. Yes. Cool, cool. 
I may have fed on you. Really? really? So. Oh my gosh. Just, I don't... Just, just a little. And you left her alive, yes? Like she walked out? Yeah. Okay, good. Are you sure? Well, because yeah. we have a little bit of a problem on our hands. Yeah, um, what's up? Millie's not aware of how any of this happened. Oh, no, no, no. The last time last time we had a reading was like a long time ago. Okay. Like at least a couple months. How you long? You know, I'm just I'm just asking on the off chance that you act, you know. It's fine. I, that I you think... are the sire. No, mm. I can't sire any. I I don't know how to do that. You leave some of your blood in a half dead, partially dead human and eventually they just turn into something oh geez no i didn't i my no i i'm okay, the one crush doing it, the crossing them off the list not mm. millie sire i uh, so a sire is what the person who who made who me a vampire yes you mm -hmm. can think of them like quite literally the person is, is your guardian they're supposed to teach you everything mm -hmm. um and ex and introduce you to this world, which you have not been introduced either. Ooh. That That's is okay. That's okay. So, full transparency here, because I don't believe you're lying to me, and, you know, unless you're the world's greatest liar, um, I will not have to seek retribution from you. But instead, what I will say is that um, we were tasked to find you, and um, bring you to essentially the the people who run all of this here, um, to be uh, judged by because of the murders. However, you have you don't know what's going on. I feel like we can plead your case um, a lot easier that way. Um, except for hopefully they'll know, pardon you. Except for like one little one little thing, just like one little thing. Which is um, Sylvie, by the way, has moved from like cupping Millie's cheeks to like being arm in arm with Millie, um, fully kind of just like leaning, um, probably kind of stroking uh her arm, especially if there's like a vein nearby, just kind of like vibes. But like I'm doing it to calm you down and make sure that you feel safe in this situation. <laughs> So I'm really just doing it for support because you know. This is my emotional support vampire. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're my you're a child. <laughs> not really. I'm not your sire, I promise. Um but yeah, no, I'm just kind of like, it it's it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Am I dead? You? Yes. Mm hmm What? Well, Undead close to is, dead. Close yeah. to dead. Mm -hmm. Very, very close to dead. But also kind of alive. I don't remember dying. No. If you remember dying, you would remember becoming this. Usually. It's... Things... People can get... The term we call it is embraced. Um, people can get embraced... In many, many different ways. And uh, accidental embracings are also a thing. Um, I'm pretty sure you're a thin blood, which um, is a type of vampire that looks way more human than the rest of us. Mm -hmm. Which is why you probably don't have. And I just, I will show you my teeth, which um, are... I want to say Feline's um, vampire teeth are very akin to what you would see with like snake fan fangs, except hers hers are like almost curved to a point. And Millie, you have that very acute hearing. Uh, none of them have a pulse, and none of them have heartbeats. Well, Sam has a heartbeat and a pulse, but that's about it. Okay, so that's why I have a beating heart and y'all don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although you don't need to breathe. You can stop breathing if you want. It's quite loud. 
you will get used to it. It's <laughs> it's it, it'll become a bodily function that just stops. You just stop needing to put energy into, it and, and it'll make sense one day. Is the best way to put it. You don't even know what you are yet, so it's this is very jarring, and I'm genuinely so sorry that you're in this situation. It doesn't sound like it, I know. But also, I'm a little frazzled. I was kind of ready to kick your ass. And, um... I just feel bad. Okay, well, thanks. Um... So, what, should we, like, exchange numbers or something? Um... That would I, be great. I was gonna um, just maybe go. Are you hungry still? Yes. Okay, well, I have... If you don't mind staying the night at our um, residence, we have a little frat um, that uh, kind of acts as our, like, home base. Um, that way we can watch over you, just in case. But also, we ha I have something there that can just at least make the hunger feel better for a little while. That's we do... You, you do need to breathe. You, holding oh, your breath doesn't feel it feels like yeah you know, i figured i think, I think blue at one point probably, yeah i just like turned blue and was just like fuck it i'll learn how to not breathe later this is weird um <laughs> sylvie definitely thinks you don't need to breathe and so when you yeah. start doing we're again, not yeah like, the rest of us like, I'm, not, I'm not used to that yeah we'll figure that out later um <laughs> yeah um okay this this feels like sort of how people get murdered and abducted and stuff. Well, you're already one of those things, so. Like well, I said, yeah, you but murdered three people. I have um, to imagine it can probably get worse. Like, I don't want to end up chained up in your basement or like, so you know. So, we, we don't want to do that, obviously. Um, I, in fact, if you were willing throughout most of this, especially... Um, uh, what I'm about to say next, that would be amazing. Because you see, we need to, we need to bring you in tomorrow to meet the elders, um, where we will then plead your case. Because if you don't, then we actually do have to kill you. And I really, really don't want to, now that I know that you're honestly in such a fucked up situation i thought i was dead but how do you kill a dead person it's a true Am death. I gonna live forever maybe uh if you don't fuck it up sure if if you're uh scared off by the basement you could stay at my place i could i could house her for the night because you've mm, you've been to my place before. Yeah. Okay, I feel better about that. Also, we have other rooms. What? I I hope you didn't think we'd just leave you in our basement. Our basement is under repair. What happened our there that broke is it? Where Nora lives. Nora has. Oh, never mind. Our basement's basement. already taken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Nora. I didn't know that you chose to live in the basement. I thought you would take the biggest bedroom. No, it's... I like it down there. Um... Okay. Okay, sure. To which one? I will stay with Erlin. Okay. Cool. I have a, a trundle bed. Okay. I have a what? A trundle bed. It pulls out from underneath your bed. That's what they're called. Yeah. I call them sofa cum beds. Hmm. Uh huh. What? Um, sofa cum beds. Because they're sofa. sofas that become beds. Sofa cum beds. Hmm. Um, I hear cum bed. <laughs> sofa so they have, cum they have some bed. of those at the front. So, kind of. Sofas become bed. Sofa cum bed. I wonder if this is a Canadian versus American thing. What's It's second. possibly. Uh, but Feline also I'll give you with your your occult role. You do know that there is a um a blood a blood a blood ritual, uh blood sorcery ritual that you could use to um figure out 
who this person's sire might be, their generation, information about them. You don't have it, but you do know a Tremere. Silas. Or a different one. There's a Tremere who owes you a boon right now. Felix, yeah. Oh yeah, that guy. We're not leaving her with just Erlen, right? One of you will stay there as well. I can stay. Uh, sure. Selfie, you're also invited to my place. <laughs> oh my gosh, Erlen, that's so sweet. Sleep over at Erlen's. Except I can't. Um, I really wish I could. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, my, fair. Yes. Um, I have a curfew, sadly. So I'll stay as long as I can. Um, and uh, hopefully explain a few more things to you, Millie. But then afterwards, um, I have to be out by five. Oh, is this like you can't be in the sun type of thing? No, this is a, my sire is very overprotective, and I have a curfew, like a child. Blink if you need help. I'm, I'm good, actually. I, besides the curfew, I'm living a kind of a really great life. Okay. On life. It's, it's just the curfew is very annoying. You just blinked, though. <laughs> because my eyes, unfortunately, still need some form of liquid in them. That's weird. So you don't have to breathe, but you can blink. We don't there's even like use little, the bathroom. Yeah, there's like little things that you have to learn to remember to do, so then you don't like, you know, scare the blood bags. What? What's Humans. A blood bag? Humans. Oh, that feels like a slur. Mortals. It could be a slur. I'm gonna have but... to do some. In, I'm gonna have to do some deep diving. I'm gonna have to think. Like, about can I words. say it? I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna say it. That feels yeah. I don't know. See, um we we are not like we are all vampires, but none of us are the same. We're not from the same clan. Uh <laughs> neither are you. Um so what clan am I from? I think Well, from that's a very complicated question. <laughs> yeah. Because you're so new and fresh and we don't know who your sire is, this becomes very difficult um it's like when um you know lost and found items i'm a lost and found item sadly ew it's i'm sorry wait, wait why why are we bashing thrifting we're not wait, actually i i do have like a lore specific question yep. and this could just be me and my newness to the game I always kind of took it as like thin buds really don't have a clan. Like they Yeah, they're 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 essentially like renegades. Renegades, they they don't have a clan, but that's that is because that the blood is not like powerful enough to like give them specific abilities. Yeah. Um yeah. Okay. Sylvie's just okay, cool. Sylvie's just kind of going to be quiet when and they're like, "Well, you know, clans and not say anything." Yeah, because like a thin blood can be turned by a clanned vampire, but if that vampire's blood is like too thin or whatever, the they can't pass on their clan powers yeah. to yeah. their childer. So that childer yeah. still has a sire who is from a clan, but they they themselves don't have the traits any allegiance. Of that clan. Yeah, mm -hmm. they yeah, can okay. still like sometimes have like clan bane or like you know have some features of the clan, but not always. <laughs> the worst parts. Yeah, they get hey, the yeah. worst parts. <laughs> None of the benefits. Yeah. And that was brought to you by How to Play Vampire the Masquerade. Back exactly. to your regular program. <laughs> um, oh. Erlen, I'm not shitting on thrifting. That's not it. Uh, then what? It's... It's the nicest terminology to use right now in a situation where I can't use all the terminology because Millie hasn't learned it. That was the nicest terminology? Okay, wait, yes. no, I have a better one. Uh, Millie, you've read, have you read Percy Jackson? What's that? Okay, never mind. Oh, goodness. Okay, moving back a minute. Millie, can you walk in the sun? 
Yeah. Swear to God, it's a thin blood. I mean, she is really warm. Like, really warm. And no fangs. Which... I had Invisaligns. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fangs kind of grow in. That's kind of a thing that they do. Because I didn't have fangs before. She's probably never going to have fangs. That's That's what we're trying to say. Which is very impressive for the way you've um, you've been. Well, the bloodlust in you is so strong. Thank you. I think because you've just been like murdering people. Yeah, I guess so. Like ripping How... them to pieces. Am I gonna get arrested? Like, um, that's kind of what's call... happening right now. The, we well, are we're... arresting you. Especially. Are you? Are you okay. with like the campus police or like the Providence police? We are okay. We're just gonna have to give you like I'm, a whole break. Yeah, we're just gonna give you a rundown. Like, um, but can yeah. we not do it? But here? you're not cops, mm. right? No. No. Oh, God no. no. God no. 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 Absolutely no, no, not. No. No. Cool. Which mm-hmm. we're also trying to avoid. We're, I at least I'm gonna try and and avoid you getting into any further trouble. Mm-hmm. Okay. But because this is truly, I don't think this is your fault. Yeah, you know, like in the middle of this, there's like a knock on the door. It's just being like, you "Guys, done in there." No, no, it's a fucking orgy, dude. Oh wait, I live with my parents. <laughs> Erilyn yells, "No!" I'm not gonna do it, but Sylvie starts like doing really bad fake moans, <laughs> like really. Bad. I'm gonna be like, "Oh wow, Sam, you have so much stamina!" Wow. I can't be yelling that out. I can't be yelling that out. But like, pretend I yelled that out. I can't. Yeah, no, we're fucking mm-hmm. leaving. Um, I'm just like shuffling everybody out the door and being like, well, explain it when we get to Erland's, okay? Okay. Is Erland's, like, I, Millie would know this, but is Erland's, like, near campus? Yeah, it's walking distance from here. Okay. Because cool. I walked here, I think. Yeah, we walked here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no super woo? No mm-hmm. super woo. My super woo is in my driveway. <laughs> yeah, and as, as, as we walk, I'm just gonna give you some quick terms like kindred over vampire um embraced over turned um redefining again what a sire is just in case you need that um and just just giving you like the terminology straight up okay uh, so so that way it's like just and when you when we explain things and then we have to pause to figure out how to how to ex- how to explain the terms again it's like you have some sort of reference that do also you, will make it sound like we're talking about maybe a movie or something do you um tell millie about elysium that will be the le- i'd rather say talk about elysium when we're inside closed doors I safe see. for closed doors yeah i don't want to be spewing see, out things like you know so this is the primogen this is a sheriff this is a harper harpy harpy <laughs> not harper <laughs> You know, like, I don't want to say those terms because, like, you never know which motherfucker's watching. So, um, but, like, the other things, definitely, definitely going through. And, honestly, it's going to sound like we're talking about a movie, probably, if anybody's over listening or whatever. Or a video game or something. Yeah. (laughs) What class are you? I don't know. (laughs) Feeling kind of thin blood. (laughs) There's a cool game called Vampire the Masquerade. (laughs) Yeah. Did the game exist in this universe? (laughs) Meta. Now we're getting real meta. Uh, um, But yeah, we walked to my place. It's probably no more than like 15 minutes. Give or take. Too bad. Yeah. Um, And yeah, my apartment is this cute little two story. Uh, thing um, and there's a sign in the front of, the, of my front door that says the midnight star and uh, my keys jingle as I pull out the key to my front door <laughs> and we walk in cool. um, is uh, would I guess Jamie wouldn't have left for the night probably not yeah you do a lot of late night readings, so. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like what time mm-hmm. is it? Past midnight. 
Okay. I immediately it's go and find me. cheese. I leave everybody and I go find cheese and I just pick cheese up and I just start torturing cheese. Yeah, cheese is a good boy. Cheese is my cat. He's orange. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, we um, the Erlen sort of welcomes everyone in, and I kind of move my curtains aside. Because uh, the last time you were here, Millie, we kind of just stayed in the shop part of my shop. Um, but I have, like, all these curtains up that that separate and block the view to, like, the, my living room and my kitchen and all that stuff. Because I do my business out of the place that I live. Okay. Um, so I move the curtains aside and um, uh, I guess we can all sit in the living room. Um, and, Jamie, yeah. Jamie, almost just like... I don't need to make tea or anything. Oh, hi. Uh, no, you're 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 good. Um, cool. th- uh, I just have some uh, friends over. Jamie waves. Hi. I right, say so this is Jamie, uh, my shop assistant. I'll just be in the back. Carolyn <laughs> <laughs> gives Jamie a very awkward thumbs yep. up. <laughs> Bye, Jamie. Jamie has deduced that this is vampire business, and they don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> uh, what's your Wi-Fi password? Um. Okay. <laughs> so you you have to. Uh, okay. So the Wi-Fi is called <laughs> Landlord Suck. Okay. Um, and the password. <laughs> And Erlen's like trying not to laugh. Um, the password, <laughs> and uh, Z gives up and uh, writes it down on a slip of paper and passes it to you. Um, and the password is, um, the, pa- the password is the phrase. Uh, it's it's like a bunch of letters and numbers, but also it said the A cab, and. Um, there's probably the word pussy in there too with the two dollar signs as the s's um but it's it's overall a bunch of garbled nonsense um because i feel like erlen is good at making passwords uh thank you thanks i'm just like on my phone um question millie did you actually go to the party with anyone no okay Erlen mm. um, pulls just a random deck from like the side table because I think there's even not in the shop. I feel like there's just tarot decks and like other random things everywhere because uh, Erlen's apartment is very maximalist. There's just a lot of stuff everywhere. Um, so Erlen um, sits on like the side of the couch. I think Z lets you all sit in the actual seats. So I'm sitting like side sitting kind of on like the arm of the couch and i'm just shuffling cards in my hands absentmindedly as i listen to feline explain more about vampire society all right so um unfortunately it's gonna get really monarchy sounding in a second um but that is the best way to like like equate to something you might be relatively aware of right now to what I'm about to explain. Um, So we have a few ways of running things. The way that Providence is ran is that we have a literal prince. um, And please think of her as, as exactly as I said, prince, the title, and they are the prince. They are kind of running this fake ass kingdom uh and uh after princes we have primogens think of them as like dukes duchesses very very important people in a hierarchy rank and then afterwards there's a bunch of other people including one that feels like a cop and is actually called a sheriff but we're just gonna think of them like as like a like a knight their sole purpose is to honestly be a cop before the prince. Mm-hmm. A cab. Um. ASAP. 
<laughs> and uh, the rest of us count as a part of a part of the court. God, a court system would have also worked for this analogy. But it, to the best of it, that is also kind of just how our society works. We're really underground and undercover and, of course, quiet. Sometimes we have humans that know what we do. Um, but that is something completely... Depending on your sire and then, like, your where, you, where your place is, honestly, in society, it's neither here or there. Um, we also have other things like familiars and shit but um that is once again neither here or there tomorrow we have to take you to elysium elysium is like um you ever watch bridgerton would bridgerton be around yes it's 2020 mm-hmm. okay cool at least the first season I the think. first season is out mm-hmm. yeah um no um Basically, it is a formal party, but not 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 like the frat parties. It's a formal party. Everybody okay. dresses up, and that is where we meet the king. New vampires, and I said king, prince, new vampires have to introduce themselves to the prince. And technically, whenever you go to a new domain, for an extended period of time, you have to introduce yourself as well. Which is why we were not aware of you and why we were very ready to kick your ass. Sorry again. Well, By the way, every not. every like major city or every major area will have their own court. So don't think that you can run away from this because it will find you. Every time. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're very thorough, sadly. Actually, not sadly. I enjoy the efficiency. Um, Yes, Elysium will be tomorrow. Um, Think of it like a Halloween party, which if you need a nice outfit, I can find you one, probably. Um, Which, by the way, Sylvie, if you still need something, let me know, okay? I like, it, it might be like, it's not that much of a rush. And I honestly trust you to have a really nice outfit picked out. But, like, if you do need, I have people. No, it's okay. My sire's picking out my outfit. I imagine. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Oh, I think I have stuff I can wear. It's at my mom's house. I'll just grab it um, and meet you guys there, I guess. Can I get an address for Elysium? No, we have to take you there. That that's another issue with you not being introduced. If we just like tell you where to meet, we we could get in trouble. And then you will also get in trouble. But it's okay. I can drive you to your mom's and pick up your stuff and then take you to Elysium. Mm-hmm. It's at the oh. Providence Theater. It's really nice. Oh, it's at Peapock? Yeah. Cool. Erlen, you weren't supposed to tell that. It's not there. Erlen's okay. also relatively new to this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Uh, what's like the most important thing I should know right now? Also, I was told there might be food. Yes, I will get you some. Um, someone else fill in, please. And I'm going to get up and go to the garden and get my flowers. You I got you to, some nice you ones. You can walk. You have to just walk down the street to the frat house. Oh yes, to it's get, to the yeah. frat house. I'll <laughs> yeah, be right back. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, <I> go. <laughs> and Erland immediately takes your spot on the couch, um, and uh, uh, just kind of like crosses my legs at uh, at like a really strange ang- angle. I don't know. Erland sits like a gay person, um, and uh, just kind of like looks at you, Millie, and and Z. Z uh, shrugs and says, "Yeah, I I'm kind of new too, um, and yeah, I I forgot um, where Elysium is. It's not where I said it was. So sorry. Okay, um, but I'll, I'll I'll drive you to the place that I will know. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Sure. Hopefully, will tell me where it is." So who's Nora, your sire? Can, hey, Nora, can you come with me to get into the kitchen? Can you? 
<laughs> Get, yeah. Why are you leaving me here? <laughs> um, <laughs> I completely ignore them and walk out with Laura. <laughs> and Sam is just like, I'll just be here. Uh, Erlen Look looks around. Sam's still here. <laughs> Everyone has left except for Sam, who's doing nothing. Sam, he's like on his phone. I look at Norm. Um, I'm sorry. We want to bring. Sam did you want to bring your dog? Yeah. Or... Uh, Sam, why don't you help us in the kitchen? Oh yeah, 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 yeah I can. What? Oh, it's it's, it's what? Sam seems Erlen so says. so intentive on anything that Nora says. Like immediately, it's perk up. Yes. Man, wow. where do I find a boy like that? I know, <laughs> Nora. Can't you, uh, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I was gonna say get you, Amanda. Looks at you the way Sam looks at Nora, but I remember what Nora's done. So maybe don't. Uh, well, are they like you know. together? Did I like accidentally? Like, I have step no it on idea. Because um, um, that was not my intention. Erlen watches them leave and is like, why are they leaving me here? And um, just kind of uh, does a little like uh, to get cheese to walk over. Um, and I'll pick up cheese mm -hmm. and put him in my lap. Um, and I introduce you to cheese, Billy, who is my orange kitty. And he's mm. he's small ish because um, I think he's a pretty younger. No, he's okay. not a kitten, but he's younger. Um and uh i talk to you about cheese because uh erlen doesn't know what else to talk about <laughs> i'm like thrilled i think millie is very thrilled to have a normal conversation at this point in the night just and don't erlen mention where you got cheese yeah erlen has successfully dodged the question of zir's sire <laughs> nice. uh, and we're talking about cheese <laughs> um this is just gonna be super short and super sweet and then we'll hop back in Erlen's not gonna be alone for that long but sylvie is gonna look at nora and say okay so as much as i would love to be there and support this situation i cannot join you all in i can't be seen at least with millie okay that's just it i just can't I'm going to have to be with my sire, and I am sorry about that. But that's fair that you don't want to be seen with her. Um, the sheriff did ask us to bring her in, so it feels like it would be positive to be seen as a and The sheriff asked that. Um, it would just make my life a lot easier, you know? I mean, that's fine with me. Do what you have to do. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I just didn't want to tell Feline, and I didn't want to tell Erlen because they will ask questions. But if you tell them, maybe they won't ask you questions. Should we not talk to, like, we not talk with you as well? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. After everything, once that's all settled, I think it'll be fine. Okay, yeah. I mean, your sire had to drag you off anyway, so you didn't come to the party tonight. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And look at his fluffy tail. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk back, and despite everything, I am going to sit right next to Millie and, like, reach over and start poking at um, Cheese's toe beans while we Aww. wait for Feline. Oh. I don't think I'm going to take too long, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm like minutes, 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I come in. I have, um, um, I like took a plate or a takeout container or something like that. Clean one, like Tupperware. Mm -hmm. um, and I put, a I put a bunch of uh, flowers in there. They are, I believe, uh, red spider lilies. Um, and I hand them over to you, um, Billy. And I say, so... Um, one of the things that I can do is I can make these flowers and um, it's not going to stop making you hungry, but it does help a lot. It, it stops the craving. Like, it's sort of like when you're like, oh, I could eat, but you don't. That's what these do. And I... Um, 
I cannot provide you with a man. I'm sorry. Um, but I can provide you with these, and these will help you control yourself okay. until we can set something better up. And I... I... This is the best I can do. You can just eat them. They taste good. Thank you. Okay, I just eat it like a food? Yep, just like a food. If you want to, like, rip them up, like, go for it. Um, but they are filled with blood. Oh, okay. Am I, yeah. like, so, having like, a response to this, like, in a kindred sort of way, or...? Um, I mean, yeah, they do smell like blood. They taste like blood. They are, um, they are good. Like, they're not, like, mm. they're not, like, gross diet food. Okay. Yeah, I'm, they are, I'm, like... <laughs> They don't it's, sate any hunger, but, mm -hmm. you know, they make it a little bit easier to resist the, the you know, the feeling. Well, I certainly gobble them up. I would say because they are affected by Feline's magic. Um, if you have any, like, good memories or good feelings, that's what is happening right now. I'm like feeling that, like remembering them. I'm like having a nostalgia moment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Like if, I don't know, if um, what you really, really like, I don't know, uh, like the, you enjoy going to a movie theater to see movies because of the social experience and sometimes like just, just, I don't know, the idea of like popcorn in the air and, it being dark for a couple hours, but like entertaining. Like heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, just something like that, you know, motherfucker. If you had a show that you wish you could re-experience again for the first time, that's what you feel. Mm -hmm. And um, while you're doing this, Millie, give me an intelligence plus resolve roll. Okay. So. So, oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I have three successes. Three successes. Something is ringing true in your mind. You're thinking a lot about this kind of reminds you of your dad that's like crazy you're like psychic I was literally thinking that yeah <laughs> yeah uh, wow this is crazy this re this like reminds me of this I don't know I don't know why it reminds me of my dad kind of but like I never ate flowers with my dad that's crazy Sorry, that's weird. I don't know. No, no, it's not. Um, it's uh, so part of what I can do is kind of like informal magic. So that's just a side effect of some of the stuff that I do. And you're you're thinking about the fact that you your dad worked a night job. You know, he would uh sleep most of the day and uh, work all night and. You're also subtly unsure if you ever remember seeing your dad eat food. Huh. I think, I think Millie is probably just making a face like increasingly like confused and worried like, huh. Just going on a, on a, a facial journey. <laughs> Uh, you good? Yeah. Um. Do you guys eat food ever? Can't no, no. anymore. No. Well, what would happen if you did? You'd have to vomit. Yeah. It, it also just taste very good. terrible. Mm -hmm. I think tastes like ash. It is gross. Like, I agree with you. Food sucks. But, like, I mean, I'm, I can eat it. Brag about um, it. Sorry. I mean, it's not brag worthy. It's gross. Um, um, some, some, some vampires can stomach it. It's, it's, uh, 
All vampires are different. We are not a monolith. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every clan has different abilities. Um... And then every kindred, a part of the clan, is also different. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of how you choose to hone your abilities over time. You guys um have children? Carolyn points to cheese. Sorry, um, can you like reproduce? Not not in the biological way. What? Technically, when you are embraced, you're you are called a, a child. You're a childer. Um, your sire, like, remember when I said that you're a guardian? Yeah. Sometimes, so the relationship between you and your sire can be many different things. You know, some sires are like lovers, and some sires are like that weird uncle nobody wants to talk to. But you can definitely have a parental relationship with your with your sire. But not like literally. High key really depends. Like, I can see like you know, a guy like like let's say let's say let's say your mom got turned into a vampire and then she turned you into a vampire. You're still related by blood. That's still your mother, but now she's also your sire. Could I so. do like a like a memory or history or something? Like like think back and see if I have the answer or if like what Millie's kind of dancing around rings a bell. Yeah, if anybody wants to, you can do, um, we can do a, a wits awareness. Wits awareness. Mm -hmm. Um, you said wits awareness though, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, and yeah. six above is a success. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Two successes. Three successes. Three successes. One sec. I'm rolling. <clears throat> Ugh. Nobody loves me like Viridian. I'm gonna say it every session. <laughs> That's you know what? I would brag Three. about it too. Three? Three. Three. Um Yeah, I think you're all starting to like kind of see what Millie's putting down. It's you none of you have ever heard of any of this happening. Like you maybe it's possible, but also that's a big Thing if true because mm -hmm. above table vampires are supposed to get permission to turn mm -hmm. other vampires either from the primogen or the prince yeah um Fair but uh <laughs> or a thin blood getting someone pregnant or something like that is it possible who knows vampire science but i will Oh, so you continue. Yeah, but but that is it is you've never heard of it before. Nora, you've seen references to it in the book of Nod. The possibility of a uh, thin blood uh whose blood is so weak, you know, that they could quite possibly sire children in other ways. Nora will pipe in um and say if the parent themselves is a fairly weak vampire, it might be possible. And given that you can go into the sun and eat food and have a pulse, I wouldn't be shocked. Hmm. You might not be shocked, but the this is going to be a problem. Like, this is going to be a problem. Do we even mm. want to bring it up? I don't know if that would help or pinder. I don't think it would help. I don't, I don't think it would help. And on this revelation, I'm going to push us to break as uh, we all go out and we're going to think on this for a few minutes uh, as we all get up <laughs> and uh, go, uh, you know, get some water and everything. So you should do that too. And we will see everybody in 10 minutes or so. Hello, everyone. Welcome back from break. I guess it's time to continue unraveling the mystery of Millie. You all kind of 
came to a very similar conclusion right before we went to break. So uh, we can pick directly back up from there. There is no way that we can share this with the rest of the court. We could share it with someone, though. <clears throat> we are owed, we as in our coterie, which, by the way, Millie, Coterie is just like a group of kindred that are like assigned together. Um, do, like, a, do a pal, like a little pal ring group. Yeah, well, technically cool. we're co-workers. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that that that's just a, so you know what coterie. what we're talking about. Coterie. Coterie. Our coterie is owed a major boon, and um, considering that um, whatever happens to Millie is our problem as a group. We might want to cash that in. Absolutely not. You would trust. I wouldn't trust a Tremere with this regardless, but... Well, that's the thing about the major boons. Kind of has to do it. I mean, it's his fault for offering that as payment in the first place. I we just want to make sure. Demand, we could also demand secrecy as part okay. of the boom. We mm -hmm. can demand secrecy, but he'll still know. He, Felix is he him, right? Or he they? Okay, cool. He him. <laughs> he'll still know and he can act on that knowledge regardless of whether he explicitly shares it. And what exactly would you want from him? Anyway, confirmation of what we think or to falsify information about Millie? Good. We could make him take her in. We could also just make him agree to house us if something happens. Yeah, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit of information above table. Quite often, when a kindred is brought in, uh, they are under their sire's accounting. So it's their sire is a, is is responsible for them. Currently, Millie has no one who is she's under no one's accounting, uh, which can be a bit of a problem because she's not been released or, or you know uh, presented to the court. So if you could get someone to take her into their accounting someone who is powerful uh you could probably get things passed and or you know have a better chance of millie to see the end of elysium so to be clear above table this is all for millie's benefit like her us bringing her well, in and her dying does that actually reflect poorly on us like no, i feel like you it could doesn't. you could okay. you could just take her to elysium and be like yep yeah, this is the person we brought okay. him you you don't have to choose to save Millie if you don't want to. There might be re repercussions on your humanity, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Akino, were you? No, I don't even remember what I was going for. Continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I mean, we could ask him to take her in, but why? Well, this wouldn't be our problem anymore. It's not our problem regardless. We take her it, into Elysium and we're done with it. It's in the court's hands. Do I hear this? I think we're talking right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. what, do you, what do you mean it's in the court's hands? Like what? Do, it, your future. And I'm going to like shoot Nora a look of like, what the fuck? I mean, my future is I go back to school and finish my degree because that's what I'm going to do. Millie, you're a freshman, right? A sophomore. How dare you? Okay, so you're like, what, 19? 20. Okay. What are you going to do when you're 20 in 20 years? Tell everybody I got fillers. I don't know. In 40 years? 
60? What are you going to do when you're 20 and you're at the funeral for your childhood best friend? I don't know. Don't I have like infinite time to figure that out? I'm literally just talking about like tomorrow and the next day. Like I would love to just finish the term. Okay. I hear you. But you need to start thinking outside the world that you no longer exist in. You now exist in this world. And we're trying to set you up for success. And I like shoot Nora a look. In this world. In your new unlife. Because you don't have a life anymore, Millie. You don't. The life that you thought you were leading is gone. I'm sorry. So what do I do? You introduce yourself to the prince. You become part of the court. One day, maybe you get brought into a coterie of your own and you start contributing to the court. You live, you party, you feed. But you definitely don't run. Please don't make us chase you. I feel and like Sylvie isn't not gonna to... Sylvie isn't gonna say anything, but Sylvie does kind of like the the expression on her face very much supports what Felina is saying. What are you not telling me? You are even as a thin blood not not the most welcome amongst kindred. And if you really are a thin blood by birth, you are the strangest thing I've ever seen in my life. I have never heard of something like you before. I don't know if there are any vampire or any kindred who have. But you just and said I would live a normal life. I mean, normal for y'all. If we keep if this quiet, yes. Yes. And Millie, I want you to live a normal life. Life. And there is a very, very, very poignant pause between Liv and the rest of her sentence. Okay, what do I have to do to, I guess, hide it? Every single Whatever thing they is. tell you. Every instruction we give you, you follow to a T. Do you understand me? Sure, yeah. Okay. All right. Because, and I, again, look at the group, we're going to make sure that Millie is okay, okay, right? I'll do my best. Nora pointedly does not say anything. Mm. And Nora, you've, you've, there's a term in the, the Book of Nod for, for kindred like this. I believe they call them Domfier. Uh, and, you would also all know that, like, you could also offer a boon to someone who is powerful. Um, if you did not want to go to Felix, you could offer them a boon in exchange for this. But then we that's should... something they have over you. Yeah, We should just go to Felix. And Nora, the best thing we can do right now is if, let's say, let's say they go, all right, Millie's in. They might stick Millie in our coterie and it'll become our problem, which Millie, you're great. However, we already have someone who's new. 
And I pointedly point to Erlen, who is not here right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And new vampires are very this shouldn't be my problem to train you to teach you our ways it really should be your sires and I rather somebody else who has way more leverage in society actually do their fucking jobs instead of us it's very capitalism it's like when the manager is supposed to train you and instead they ask the employee who barely has a year in to train you well if what you're saying is true my sire is my dad and he died two years ago so i'm sorry he's not here oh well i'm sorry for your loss Thank you. We're just trying to find a way to set you up with someone who can take you in and keep a proper watch over you. Show you how to how to hunt properly without murdering people. How to f- fucking feel your oats as and whatever the else fucking things you can do because God, I don't want to figure that out. I don't want to explode. Well, I don't want to explode either or for you to explode. So. Exactly. So I'd rather someone else who is older and actually should be doing their job to do it. Well, I would like it if the person who's training me also was like willing. So yeah, let's I, I guess see Felix. Who's Felix, by the way? Felix is a Tremere um, that owes us a favor. A boon. They're what the did you do for- artsy. Yeah. Oh, you don't need to know about that. But we they're the artsy vampires. So we're kind of set you, setting you up with somewhere you'd feel comfortable. Okay. I, I I have been described as artsy. I mean, music is the performing arts. Oh, man. You would be so... You don't... No, 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 no. We're not going to talk about that. No. Okay. You just... You'd fit, in, you'd fit into my clan a lot, but I... Do you think we're at maximum capacity? I don't think we have any more space. I'm so sorry. Funny how nobody's hiring. Um, okay. Billy, can you go help Erlen in the kitchen for one minute? Sure. I leave. I don't know what the Nyan was thinking in trusting Felix to protect them. But you can't, this is an entirely new type of vampire. You can't trust a Tremere with that. Why not? That. Why not? Because, because the Tremere are, for a lack of a better terms, fucking wild. And also kind of irresponsible. Well, that's like a lot to just paint. That's a big brush to paint a whole group of people it with. Is, it is. Um, f- truthfully, we have beef. We have generational beef. Oh. I personally don't like leaning into it because I think it's a lot of bullshit. But um, unfortunately, there's a lot of motherfuckers that are older than me. History would attest to the fact that giving the Tremere access to any type of special blood is not a good idea. Sylvie's just gonna nod because I don't think she really paid attention to the vampire one-on-one course, our kindred one-on-one course about um, clan beef. (laughs) I think Sylvie knows her clan and that's about it. Sam speaks up at this moment. It's just like, I could always get her out of the city. No, we can't do that. Yeah, that uh, would also put you in danger. And honestly, I feel like all of us hanging out right now is also a big no-no. Oh no, the my pack is. They're never gonna know this is happening. Yeah, and respectfully, no one. We're keeping. We are keeping this right. Like, shh, you were never here. Yeah, I was never here. 
Great to see you that you're never okay, here. but you were never here. No, I was never here. But this is an option. If you can't come up with anything else, I mean, the easiest the option. The easiest option would be the slightly less favorable option that the court. Which we has. are not doing. But you don't want to do that. <laughs> Listen, Felix seems harmless, and I think that that's our best option. You do know other Tremere, but I don't know how much you would There's, trust Silas. We just, we met him today. You and he didn't even, night. he didn't even, he didn't even like introduce himself or anything. Yeah. I don't want to, oh no, like I was thinking maybe introducing Millie to another thin blood so like the thin bloods can thin blood. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I'm like, I, we met that motherfucker today. I don't trust him. He I didn't even wear a shirt to meet he us. Did... He didn't even wear a shirt. He was tits out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think someone being tits out would make a better impression on you. No, not in this formal occasion. Put on a shirt. <laughs> I would say the only only thing in his favor is he he is not Chantry affiliated. But do Fair. we know this in character? He, he did, did tell say us he that did he tell was you. Out. He yes. He didn't say he was kicked right. out. He said he left. Do with that what you will. <laughs> I read that as he was kicked out. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Well, back in we do know yeah. one more Tremere. Okay, so and, we I, have and I say no in the most vaguest of sense. We met them yesterday. Okay, it so hasn't have... even been twenty four hours yet. So we have one Tremere that we can turn her to. Do we have any other solutions on the table? Any other ideas? He would not fit in with my clan. I mean, you know people who are powerful. I do know people who are powerful. And I don't Unless... know how, how much you want to owe them a boon. It's probably going to be a major boon. I know that I can't take her to my sire. I can't either. Nora? Sire is currently the Keeper of Elysium. But I don't know that I can ask this of her. So above table mechanics question, mm -hmm. I did take, um, in addition to the other relevant feat, uh, Mala, mm -hmm. whatever I'm it Mala? is. Mala um, had two dots for Chloe. Yeah, um, it essentially means uh, uh, she is an ally, um, you know, she will help you, but there still may be, like, especially like if you're like, oh, I need help with a ritual, very easy, they probably no, um, th what you're asking is still going to be a boon that you would owe, and you'd also be turning them over to a Hakata. And she can turn into blood a rituals, creep. oblivion <laughs> ceremonies. But why do we only know people that are just so fucking troublesome? I mean, I was going to say, you, mean... you know somebody who's not very troublesome. You know, a very specific tailor. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, well, just like scratch her head and sign and be like I have a friend um I have a friend who has ghouls so Billy could be comfortable but I don't know how comfortable she'll be alive I or un living, whatever. And presumably not experimented on for the rest of her own life? Presumably. 
I love table. Alicia, don't do shit like this, right? Alicia is just like you've very chill. Seen, Alicia is a Hakata, but you've never seen her uh, do any kind of rituals. Uh, you yeah, it's, think... it's always been me that's been that's been doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, just go. She, I have to ask her permission. We will probably, formality speaking, we will owe her something because this is not fair. But I do trust her. I mean, someone trusted seems like our best bet. She's not too high up on the hierarchy either, so we're going to have to work with whatever plan we have for this. It has to be foolproof. Also, if anything bad happens to her, I will come after the rest of you. So it's, uh, but that's because she's my friend and we are all under, like, I want to say, like, acquaintances with a question mark because I feel like we're not friends yet. Like, we're not there. We met each other, like, a week and a half ago. So I don't know if that's enough to be friends yet, but I do Ouch. think we're all fucking stuck. Ouch. I take that personally. Um, I will say that if you don't want to screw your friend over, okay, if you think that Millie is going to be a problem and potentially screw somebody over, it again makes more sense to give her to Felix, who you two don't like, instead of giving her to your friend. But we can go to your friend. I'm not in love with the idea of owing somebody else another favor, but... Millie, you have very acute hearing. You're hearing this whole thing. <laughs> you are. So is there anything you would like to do in the kitchen? I am texting my mom. Yeah, what are you texting? I am dropping a pin and I am like, come get me. <laughs> yeah, and you're, I mean, you're, your mom, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say she's overly overprotective, but you know, she lives in Providence, you know, there's always that worry. Uh, and let's see, I'm gonna make a roll to see how soon. Because I imagine this conversation is going on for 10, 15 minutes and you did it at the beginning. Yeah, you all are um, in the middle of this conversation, pretty much got to the point you did, and th there's a car that pulls up outside. I'm very fast, so I'm in the living room. Yeah, you're in the living room. Millie, you do see the, your mother's car pull up outside. I am going to make a run for it. And I'm going to catch her. Mm -hmm. Can I uh, fly? Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> Does that help me be faster? Um, yeah, especially if you float out the window in the living room. Yeah. In the living room in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, and yet yeah, you just sort of open the window. And yet yeah, you sort of, as you're going through and like trying to jump through, you just kind of don't touch the ground. Can I grab her leg and pull her back in the house? Uh, you're not in the kitchen. But you can definitely uh, then can give I go? me uh, oh, go if you want to give me an a dexterity athletics to see how fast you can react to this. Oh boy! Oh boy! Mm -hmm. um, I, and oh, Millie, give me a. Uh, a dexterity athletics to see, um, you know, it's just, essentially is to see how fast you're moving. Uh, and yet again, if you want to, you can rouse the blood to go a little fast to uh, get some extra dice. It's only going to be one for you as a thin blood. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Roll one dice and tell me if it's a success or failure. Oh, shit. With me? Mm-hmm. So. Just for your hunger, because essentially you're rousing the blood uh, to. 
Oh, to, I see. To okay. Boost your roll. That's a you'll, success. A success. So you won't get hungrier. Uh, so you'll add, get to add one extra dice to your uh, uh, dexterity athletics pool. Okay. Oof. That is two successes. Two successes? Okay. Um, Aline, what did you get? Eight. And it's messy. <laughs> I'm very yeah. good at this. I'm so sorry. I knew yeah. it was good. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, you you do that. You uh, honestly really does not make it that far out of the window. Still floating. Uh, you know, before you're able to rush into the kitchen, uh, grab the ankle and uh, pull her back into the house, which you do notice a, a woman probably in her late 40s or so get out of the car and start walking towards the uh, uh, walking towards the, the shop. At that point, who did as you well. call? Who did you call? Nobody out of nowhere. If I go out, I will kill her. So, who did you call? Here, a woman go, Millie, Millie. Is that your mom? Yes, but don't fucking kill my mom, okay? I don't want to. You are putting her in danger right now. Okay, fine. I'll tell her to leave. I'll tell her to leave. What? Just give me a second. Nora ignores this and I think is going to go out and attempt to um, grab the mom and bring her inside. Okay, yeah. Um, that'll be uh, for just a standard, just like physically grab or just be like, oh, you should come inside. Uh, if you're physically grabbing, it is a, uh, it'll be a strength brawl. Yeah, she is physically grabbing. Um, I have a specialty in grappling. Oof. I am going to re-roll. Yeah, I was about to ask. Uh, and I'll give her, like, a standard, like, uh, mortal pool. Like, basic. So two successes. Two successes. Um, she only got one single success, so you're able to do that and grab. And, and there's, uh, luckily, it's, like, almost one in the morning. So it, there's not a lot of people around. So you're able to bring her in. And she she's very just, like... Who are you? Like, where is my daughter? And you, you've pulled her in, and Feline, you've pulled Millie back through the window, who is still kind of floating. Oh, I'm just gonna yell, Mom! Don't pick, don't piss these people off. They're really scary. We're not scary. And we were trying very hard to not be scary, but your actions might have brought that to an end, Millie. I told you not to run. I was so clear not to run. I was going to set you up with my friend. Oh, that's not happening now. That's not happening now. Really? Because what I heard was that you were considering setting me up with your friend, but also considering handing me over to weird people who were going to experiment on me. We were trying not to do that. You have such great hearing, you have but no fucking comprehension. But that's fine. Because now we have this to deal with, and I point to your mom. Did anybody wipe her memory of this? Does anybody have that ability here? No. Look at what you've done. Um, I'm gonna... Where do we have Millie's mom? Is she, like, in a chair or something? Yeah. Yeah, probably, uh... Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, like, sit next to her, and I'm just gonna say, So... Your husband... Sorry about your loss. Um... What is this to do with my husband? Did he ever tell you about his family or anything like that? I mean, I mean, I never, never met them. He said he was, you know, they had died when he was in college. Okay. And he never told you, he never like maybe shared any sort of, like, big secrets with you. He didn't have, like, a secret life that you knew about, right? He was just a night security guard at Brown. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um...
don't want to kill this woman. You don't have really to. Don't. You could knock her unconscious. That is an option. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think can... I'm going to like nod. I'm going to rub her back and be like, great, great. <laughs> Crack her on the back of the head. Yep. Uh, Jesus. That is strength brawl. Cool. Uh, and, and I will say you're going to knock her unconscious un like, unless you really get a, a ton of successes. You're going to just knock her unconscious. Like if you're rolling in with a messy crit or a bestial failure, that is where things are going to get messy. Okay, um, I got two successes out of four. Two successes out of four. She is a, yeah, no, uh, she got one success. I'm going to say that knocks her out because she's just a normal person. Yeah. And you are a person with undead strength. Oh yeah. my god, did you kill her? No. God, no. If I killed her, she would be dead. Well, you would have heard know. a crack or something. Okay. You know, Millie, you do know you've killed lots of people. Don't play innocent, sweetie. You've kind of ruined this, and I was on your side. Well, okay. I, like, toss her mom so she's, like, laying on the couch. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry I called my mom, okay? I freaked out. If I'll go with you and do whatever you want. I'll even go hang out with the people who want to fucking experiment on me. Just get her out of here and... We'll you don't figure understand. it out. She's a regular woman. She's going to call the police. She's going to get everything involved. Motherfucker, she's white. They're going to listen to her. Shit. Above Was... table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does she know? Like, is she lying or is she telling the truth? As far as she, your mother's never said anything, like... Yeah. There, There is actually, like, depending on what kind of thin blood your father was, there was a good chance that he could probably have been, like, had some minor disciplines, like the ability to compel or wipe memories. So okay. there's a chance that he had, anytime your mother found out, he just, like, made her forget. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a chance of that, like, uh, you know... Because, yeah, it's like... It's weird that you never questioned why this person was never awake during the day or anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do... <sighs> okay, I'm sure one of us, one of our sires probably knows how to mind wipe, yes? Mm -hmm. You're also aware that Tremere also get, uh, the, the have that ability as well, so there's a good chance you may be able to do two birds with one stone. I'm gonna look to everybody, I'm like... And I'm going to motion to Millie's mother and just, now we have to go to Felix. Felix can probably wipe her memory. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. I had like three back-to-back -back messy criticals. Nothing has been awoken, has it? Um, I'm actually going to say, um, uh, Millie, take two superficial damage. Just the one little mark, like one slash through your health boxes. Okay. Um, because yeah, you're gripping that ankle really tight. Probably at least sprained it. Um, I didn't know the last one was a messy. So yeah, you. Uh, and I'm not gonna say you're gonna be one dot hungrier. I'm one dot hungry. Okay. I just I needed. I wasn't sure if you. Heard... I did not hear the messy critical part. <laughs> yeah. Of the last one. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Is, I'm. I'm so sorry. Lily is taking um, some damage, and you're hungry. I just. And I'm getting fucking hungry. Um. But that's it, right? Yes, that I'll say okay. is all it's it so far. Okay, thank God. Uh, so I think Faline's really, like, making a face here. Um, like, we we could go because we're not where I'm not risking any of my people anymore. Knowing fight or flight here can actually fucking fly. This is new, by the way. I don't know where that came from. If you fuck up one more time, I will kill you. Please don't. Bad. I'm doing such a great job right now. You are. Why? Why are you doing such a great job, Lean? Kill the mom, kill her, tell her it was, tell the court it was the final victim, but we've finished the vampire. Easy. No loose ends. 
nothing more than the three students at least husband's Nora. dad no she's she's just a girl she's already murdered three people she brought this on herself she didn't know She needs to grow up at some point. She can't just be absolved of all her actions because she's young. She's not going to be able to grow up if we kill her. None of us can grow up. Good money, she, she had the chance to grow up when we were discussing this, when we were started explaining things to her. When you so kindly started trying to look for positive alternatives for her, and instead she brought in a human and tried to run. It's a messy, loose end, sending her to Felix. Sending her to Felix makes her Felix's problem, not ours. Until they do whatever it is that they'll do, and she gets powerful and comes back for us. I promise I won't do that. You promised you wouldn't run. I'm gonna flip a coin. <laughs> I'm so that's sorry. Fair. I'm so sorry. No, that's so I'm, fair. I'm like, I'm just, I'm hella debating, and it's, it, it's my, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. I need Lupe just... here. Never mind. Lupe would have killed her by now. Are you kidding exactly. me? Exactly. I think um, Feline actually takes like a breath. Um, a very audible one because it's been a while since I've had to. That's so fair. Mm -hmm. And Lean will just go. I was just a girl too, and I'm gonna run my hand through Millie. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. I above you. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But like, I actually. This rolled. is awesome. I yeah, actually, no. I, I know, I know. I just, I just really want to apologize as well. I'm really sorry. I actually rolled, and then I got a bestial failure. Um, so I was like, that's not even just a regular failure. It's a big failure. I'm really sorry, but like, mm. I, I promise, I promise. We'll, if I actually successfully kill you, we can collab your death. Yeah. <laughs> what my death? Collab your death. Yeah. Which is how you want to go out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. So it is going to be, this is a called shot, so it will be minus two, because mm -hmm. you're aiming specifically for the chest. It'll be a strength brawl, because you're using your hands. She is kindred, though, so I have... She is, she is kindred, so you I do get that one bonus. So it's, it's minus I one. Be a tiny bit kindred, though. <laughs> you, you count enough. Um, um, I think I will use willpower for this, because this is such a hard thing for me to do. Well, rouse Actually. the blood. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you want? Do you want to roll to 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 boost it with uh, the blood surge? Um, I've never blood surged before. What do I? Okay. Yeah. You just uh, roll a roll one of your hunger dice. If it succeeds, you don't get hungrier. If it fails, you get hungrier. But if you, no matter what, you add uh, your blood potency. Uh, you add it two dice to. Any rolls you make. Okay, I do succeed. Mm -hmm. So you don't get hungrier. Don't so get strength hungrier. brawl, which will also holy cancel shit. out that other penalty. So you'll just get one bonus die. Okay. Um, oh my, and holy this is going to be starting as uh, superficial damage. Uh, and uh, Millie, if you want to try and dodge any of this, the, that is going to be a dexterity athletics roll. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Meridian loves me. <laughs> I, I I swear to God, this will be the coolest way to go ever. I promise. I promise. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm four, really sorry. Four out of four successes. Four successes? Okay. Um. Okay. 
I don't even know how much that is. Um. I think that's 10. 10, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's 10. Um, Four crits and two normal? Yes. Yeah. And well, that would be 10, yes. Okay, yeah. There, so, somehow, no messy. So, wait. With... I'm one more hungrier. I need to take out one die and re- roll again. I'm sorry. What does a messy mean? Same. Um, so, if you get uh, a 10 on the hunger die, uh, which pairs up with a 10 that's not, a, or like any other, or like any other die. Okay. Um, you, it is considered a messy, which is, is messy critical where the beast takes over for a little bit. Okay. Gotcha. So, 10 Did, successes. Does a regular 10 mean anything? On like a regular um, die? Pairs. Do you have any pairs of 10s? No. Just have one. Okay. Uh, then, yeah, if it's a pair, a pair of 10s, it's four successes on its own. Okay, um, yeah, no, I just yeah. So, 10 successes, four successes, which will take it down to six. So, you will be taking six superficial damage, which, uh, going through your boxes, um, it would believe it fills the tracker once, and then a second time? Am I, um... When I receive superficial damage, do I check off a new box or uncheck a box? Um, you would... Uh, essentially, is you would mark a slash through the box. I, I don't know. Uh, this sheet is the sheet you have is a little different. Oh, I see. Um, okay. So you've got four health boxes. You yep, I've taken earlier. one or two. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Two earlier. Two. So then two. So then that would fill it up with superficial and then you would go back through and do aggravate it. So okay. that is actually not enough to kill you, but it puts you into torpor. Okay. Uh, so you are what is considered like unconscious. Um, you can still hear, uh, you can still hear everything that's going on around you, but you, you can't move or uh, do anything unless you want to spend willpower. You can do basic small actions for a cost of one willpower for, per action. But yes, Feline, you do this and you don't kill Millie. That would probably be enough to kill an average person, what you did. Mm-hmm. But because Millie is kind of sort of kindred, it puts Millie into torpor and you do recognize this. Millie kind of just becomes a bit of a Millie shaped lump on the floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I push her body off my hand. I totally fucked up my hand too, so I have to go get a new manicure and everything now as well. Mm-hmm. It's not even that. I I have like acrylics and stuff like that. I really mm-hmm. fucked up my hand. Honestly, I think about it, I should take superficial. Maybe. I don't know. My fingies are a little fucked up on that Take hand. one superficial. Yeah, like, because I, I do state that I wear, I do mm-hmm. my nails. So I think it's as, safe to say As they have, up. Uh, yeah, sort of bit into your hand when you made a fist. Mm-hmm. And like my whole, I don't, I also don't like, I try my best to not lash any blood out here because I know we're going to have to clean that up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just, I'm keep my eyes on, on Millie, um, as I know that she's in Torbor and I'll be like, one of you has to get her mom for me. And by get, I mean, kill her. So I guess if you're hungry, go for it. Can I use willpower to try to like pull myself up? From... Um, you can't like or pull not yourself to pull myself up. up, but to like kind of push myself rope to wiggle to roll in like a worm on the floor. Yeah, I can say if you spend a willpower, you kind of start. I can twitch a little bit, just a okay. little. I look at Nora because now things are going the way Nora and Feline wanted it, so Nora might as well. People outside, can we get them both in the car? I'm gonna grab, 
I, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Zerlin's keys. I'm gonna yell over my shoulder to Zem like, taking the car. Sorry. <laughs> It might be easier to oh, take, I meant, take Millie's uh, mom's car. Oh, we can take Millie. I meant Millie's mom's car. Oh, wait, car, Millie's yeah. mom's car. Okay, mm-hmm. then never mind. I just wanted to drive the Subaru. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I grabbed Millie's mom's car's keys. Yeah. She has a Subaru, too. Yeah. She probably does. Yeah. Seems very, 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 very like her. Mm-hmm. I will. Out of res- out of some form of respect, I will cover up Millie a little bit, but I will pick her up. Um, to bring to the car. I think Nora will take a moment inside um, and turn to Sam, who unfortunately is still here. (laughs) Erlyn, Jamie, and Sam, and Cheese all saw this. I am so sorry that this is that this is wound up like this. You should you should get home. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you around. Yeah, stay safe, and I think she sort of, like, fixes up his hair for a little bit Mm -hmm. and sends him on his way. Yep. He walks back to his truck and, uh, drives away. Poor Erlen has to stay back and clean. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I did luckily, my best to, to, to not make a mess, but it's still blood, you know? It's Kindred Vitae, so, you know, it's, it's a little different. Well, yeah. actually, no, Millie... Millie's... Blood is blood. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we come well, back and Erlen's what... sipping from a crazy straw. Like, one of those silly straws sipping at the floor. Well, like... listen, that's what they have um, Jamie for. It's fine. The two of them will be okay. They'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'll, they'll clean it, and then, honest to God, like, this... I'll I'll have some somebody clock me on this if I forget. I'll I'll call I'll call someone to help clean just in case. Because mm. I feel like we can call this in and be like just in case. Hey, clean this blood off of the floor. Actually, speaking of um where to do things and cleaning things up, I do think um I'm going to drive us not to the party, but like the nearest dark alley close to the party. So then we can sit here and say, like, oh, yeah, no, we, like, found this person at the party like we were supposed to. We definitely didn't take them somewhere they were not supposed to go. I mean, in the end, it's, you just got to bring proof tomorrow that they're true. That they're, and it would be better. The mother, maybe, but uh, Millie, you don't want anyone, any authorities getting their hands on that. Yeah, that's I have a question about proof of final death because right now Millie mm-hmm. is in torpor, mm-hmm. and so how long can somebody stay in torpor? Like, is she gonna pop back up tomorrow and be like, "What the fuck"? You know? No, um, Millie, you're at humanity. You're just at the baseline humanity. Um, so unless someone feeds Millie blood. Millie will be in torpor for two weeks. Yeah, we can literally keep her in our place for two weeks if we wanted to. Though honestly, I'm pretty sure if I were to call my uncle and be like, "I I got to stuff a body somewhere real quick for and then bring it out tomorrow," that could also work. Well, we don't want the court to talk to her at this point. I feel. Yeah, no. I feel like I feel like we've made our bed and somebody just needs to finish it. Yeah. I can. I <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I feel cool and I feel bad at the same time. Is this what actual bullying feels like? Is this what... Yeah. <laughs> is this what this yeah. is? Yeah. It's oh fun. My God. It's fun yeah. as a form as a former mean girl. It's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I think okay. We have no. Do we have a place to stash her? Because I'm not gonna like finish her, finish her until we know what we're doing. Because she will bleed a lot. I mean, you've got enough. You've got the frat house. So we find ourselves back at the frat house uh, with a unconscious. 
uh, for lack of a better word, uh, unconscious Millie and everyone else. Um, Nora is going to deal with Millie's mother. And you have volunteered to deal with Millie. Yeah. Um... Uh, we didn't want the basement because Mora lives in the basement, mm-hmm. so we're going to the ad attic. Because mm-hmm. that's where uh, Nora said that she put the um, chest freezer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna carry Millie upstairs. Um, I'm gonna mumble like a small prayer for her. Uh, it's in French, haha. But just, just very, very small little one, tiny prayer. Yeah. So I'm in Torber, right? Yes. Okay. So I can I can like hear and see everything that's going on. As long as no one closed your eyes, yes, you can see everything that's okay. going on. I can like hear and stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like you did earlier, you can spend your willpower. I believe you have two willpower left um, to do small actions. Okay. So I think can I use my last two bullet power to try and bite Feline just anywhere if my head is like by her neck or something I don't have fangs but just bite as hard as I can try to draw blood see what happens Mm because I think I heard everybody saying that something would happen and I shouldn't get blood in me so I kind of want to try yeah yeah um that will definitely be a um a we'll go with a dex brawl for that um and uh, uh mm-hmm. so are the two successes two successes yeah two successes uh will uh especially with uh Feline being unaware of this thinking that you're very unconscious i'm carrying you princess style yeah as well yeah yeah so it's even access. easier so you're like yeah. leaning up against the neck just... yeah. <laughs> um so yeah you are easily able to bite down and draw blood, which will inflict two aggravated damage on Feline. Sheesh. Um. Ow. No. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, ow. Uh, yes, right? very this, ow. This is, this is baby teeth. This is no mm. teeth. I've, I've got a full, like, Oh my goodness. Um, does she pop back up or like what was what, what, happening? Yeah, essentially is uh, as soon as she swallows that blood uh, because you are essentially your blood is so much more powerful than hers. She would wake up in your arms. Uh, and uh, it, it, I, that's definitely going to cause some problems. Uh, and you are definitely in pain because yet again, baby teeth. So she just took a chunk out of your neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. But like, I still have her, right? So like, I can. Yeah. I can like. I she's can, okay. still in your arms. Uh, she is. Not, she's not able to react quick enough to get out of your arms. I see. Um. Well, then I think. Um. I'm gonna drop her. Uh, uh-huh. Not on her feet or anything. I'm gonna drop her like on. On, on her back, on her, on her, on her, or no, on her stomach. That makes way more sense because I'm carrying it like this, mm-hmm. right? Just like throw her on her stomach. And then I'm just gonna like, like with my foot, I'm just gonna like, I'm I'm gonna bat, like stomp on her head, but like the mm-hmm. neck is by a, the stair. Yeah. I'm just, I'm a decapitator like this. Yep. I'll mm-hmm. stomp a couple mm-hmm. times. I'll stomp many times, but yeah. Um, mm-hmm. That, that's, that, that's what I want to do. Not, I don't, well, I'm stomping on her head. I will crush her face. But... Yeah, the, there is that. Um, that is going to be a uh, that is going to be a strength brawl roll from you, uh, I, and to um... to dodge that will be a, uh, a dexterity athletics from uh, Millie. I have specialty kindred. <laughs> yep, that will, that definitely uh, comes into play. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I did. I don't. I... <laughs> Failure. Yeah. No, no successes. Uh, and how many did you get? Um, like six, but messy. A messy, uh, messy critical. critical. Mm-hmm. 
So you had already dealt so much damage to uh, to Millie already uh, to put her into torpor. So uh, essentially, while not getting too graphic, uh, you definitely are able to separate the head from the body with a couple of good kicks. Does anything happen? Because I got messy. So mm. do I get do I get hungry? Uh, yeah. We'll say that, yeah, you do get hungrier at this moment because there is a lot of blood. And yes, you do have a thing, but again, like, uh, like you don't drink thin blood vitae, but it's still vitae. And it's yeah, yeah, everywhere yeah. I'm, now. I'm, I'm like covered. Yeah, I'm covered in blood. I'm bleeding. Um, my hand's still fucked up from, you know, mm -hmm. running it um, through her. But like, <laughs> so I'm at hunger for um and i just uh, i have stigmata so um i'm just gonna start bleeding blood everywhere yeah um i think okay i saw so it doesn't help there's probably blood everywhere and there's pro probably blood already on me but like i think what happens is like you start seeing um like blood definitely like comes out of like my eyes like in in like you know like similar to like crying i guess because how else would would liquid come out of your eyes um and um I think, I think it's a, I, uh, no, I'm wearing a knit sweater. I'm like, you know, it's, this is awful. I got to burn this. So, um, I think, no saving um, it. yeah, I think, I think blood also starts coming out oh. of, um, the side of my stomach. Yeah. For narrative plot reasons that will be yeah. maybe touched upon in the future. And, uh, Millie, just, just, just wondering as, as you die permanently, what are some of your last thoughts? What are you thinking about? I think I'm surprised mostly. I think I'm just shocked um, because I wasn't sure what was going to happen when I when I bit Feline, but I thought maybe more would happen. <laughs> I was sort of hoping like maybe I'll mm. get some of her crazy powers and I really I just woke up and then fell on the floor and got the wind knocked out of me. Um, and I guess if, you know, I'm face down on the floor, I've probably got blood all over my face. I can't see anything. I can't see the, the, well, what kind of shoe are you wearing? This is very important. Oh, shit. Oh, what shoes do I even wear? Um, you were going to a, a, a frat house party. To a frat party, yeah. yeah. And I'm aware of, like, my, my outfit is, like, like cute and shit. Um, let's just, let's just go with very expensive short boots. Like, like they're laced boots for sure. You know, like fucking. Um, I think they look like Doc Martens, mm -hmm. but like if Doc Martens had like, like the extra. I don't know, luxury lesbians. You know, like just extra, mm -hmm. extra, like kind of fancy. Yeah, yeah. I probably leave like a oh, goddamn. But my fake Doc Martens. I leave the are logo the on, your, on your face. <laughs> yeah. So I, because I think I think I would. I would probably know what's coming. I wouldn't see the boot coming, but I would know and I would be able to picture it. I think Millie's last thoughts are, are probably, I just, I hope that wherever I go, I get to see my dad soon. Yeah. Uh, and then with a sickening crunch uh, and the sounds of a head separating from a body, Millie's dead. You didn't go out like a bitch. Nope. <laughs> mm. At least I didn't get stamped on by like a croc or something. <laughs> I would never wear crocs. I hate crocs. Mm. Uh, but now that leaves you with a very messy body on the stairs uh, and you also bleeding mm -hmm. uh, and injured. I... I need to, I feel like I got to take care of myself first. I'm mm. going to go um, get my thermos. It's probably like literally at the bottom of the stairs. Um, I'm going to just down it all. So I think I dropped to hunger two or three. I don't know. I believe there were two dots left in it. So mm. yeah, you would go down to hunger two. Yeah. And um, this sucks. That's supposed to last me a week. It's been two fucking days. Um, 
and uh, yeah, uh, after I drain it and all of my blood goes away, like like I saw bleeding, mm. I um, I'm gonna take Billy's body to the bathroom first, and mm. I'm just gonna drain her of blood as much as I can. Um, it just it just needs to go. We already called the cleaning service. Like we just gotta we just gotta like give them a new, another address and be like when you're done there. Because they're cleaning mm. Erlen's place. If you're like, when you're done there, you got to clean, like, mm. the walls <laughs> and all the stairs yeah. and the floors of this house here. Um, uh, and then when, you know, uh, Millie, Millie's drained, maybe I can clean up my hands a little bit. I'll put her, put her on the tarp, wrap her up, <laughs> tarp her up real good, and then put her in the freezer. Um, no more prayers for you, though. But you get, you get um, about as clean of a send off as a casual murder, a casual oh. house murder can get. I've always wanted to be fridged. It's a dream. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you also are uh, feeling a little uh, messed up. Did you want to heal any of the aggravated damage? You, for three rouse checks, you can heal one aggravated per night. Um. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. mm-hmm. I have two aggravated, right? Yep, you've got, uh, and you've also got like one superficial from like punching, from messing up your hand, punching Billy. You're right, uh, you're right, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the aggravated for just three rouse checks, you can heal one. Um, the, the the only thing is you risk getting real hungry. Um, It's a, it's three, three, you said three rouse checks, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I, I passed two and I failed one. All right, so you'll go back up to hunger three. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, the the lovely, lovely hungry three. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, this has been a long night. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Nora says something about um, disposing of the her the mother's body and um, cleaning up everything here. Says that you don't have to worry about that and. Sylvie seems like she just wants to get out of here. Uh, I want to go to. Um, I'm gonna call Alicia though, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call Alicia and ask her if I can stay over. And yeah. depending on the answer, then I'm gonna just text. Um, I'm gonna text my dad mm-hmm. and let him know where I'm going, yeah. so that way he doesn't freak out. Yeah. Um. You do that. She is more than happy to let you stay with her um and you get an affirmative f- from your father and with sort of a um you know tell Alicia, uh, tell Alicia I said hi uh, <laughs> and yeah you have a few minutes before she gets here yeah I just um like I said this this I gotta burn this there's this Blood's mm. not coming off of this. There's, there's, there's not just blood. Like, <laughs> this blood gore, gore yeah. on one arm, and just it's nasty. Everything's nasty. Um, but I think you know, I'll try to like you know, clean myself up as much as possible, so that way I'm not walking out with complete blood all over me. Mm. Um, and it, it, um, at least someone ha- keeps some spare clothes here at the frat house. You can yeah, borrow. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, anything, and um. And I have a bag at Alicia's too, so it's like mm. I I could wear my clothes mm. um, when when I get to her place. But um, I'll, when she when she shows up, I just kind of um, I, I'll I'll tell people that I'm going, but like that's it. Like I don't really wait to hear an affirmative or anything. Mm-hmm. I just let you all know I'm leaving, and I will get in her car, yeah, and, and sit down. Uh, I I've, I'm probably sitting shotgun, which is incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, and her car is this beautiful car that was probably made in the either the 60s or 70s. It's got like that sort of bench seat. Uh and as you sit as you slide in, she'll look over at you and um say Is everything all right? Um Um no. No, not really. Um, I I'll tell you. Um, I'll tell you more about it later. Um, 
course. Uh, and she can tell that you are incredibly hungry. Uh, so she, there's a moment when she notices this, she takes a second to master herself, to get herself under control. Uh, but we'll ask, do you still have the thermos? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's out. Um, things happened. Uh, and you watch as she bites down on her wrist uh, and holds it out uh, for you to as essentially forcing the Vite out of the wound in her arm uh, and sort of not offering it to you, but putting it in a way that you could hold the thermos underneath it uh, yeah, to yeah, collect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, I don't want to drink from the vape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was, that was the she made a roll uh to uh not immediately uh to sort of keep control of herself and not uh tell you to drink from the vein okay yeah she had to make a roll because that's the uh, control roll i yeah. see <laughs> yep uh and so she does that you hold the thermos and she drains um three dots worth of uh three like three rouse checks worth of vite in it and kind of like trading places where you will now not be so hungry uh and she looks ravenous she definitely looks like she could eat you that's gay <laughs> yes um and after that, she drives off, taking you back to the apartment above uh, her tailor. I was like, yes, tailoring shop. Yeah, That's the right word. Yeah, yes. Tailoring shop slash mm -hmm. so much weapons. So many weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, and as everyone sort of gets to the end of the night. Uh, I'm just going to need you to make a quick remorse check because it was a little brutal what happened. Um, how do I do remorse checks uh, again? Remorse as you... Um, so you've got those um, little boxes next to your humanity. This would have only have been one stain on your humanity. Um, I believe you've got those four empty boxes, so it's only one, so you roll three dice, and as long as you get at least one success, you feel guilt for your actions. Okay, okay. I am remorseful. Yeah, you feel guilty for what you did, and it's still in touch with your humanity enough for that, and yeah, and that'll bring us to the end of the session the end of the night uh, and tomorrow is Elysium and you're gonna have to figure out what to do about all of this <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes so that, it's, it's, a net, it's a tomorrow night problem for, all, for you um, but yes uh, that is the end of episode 3 blood on our hands and end up being a little literal <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, yeah. But I'm going to turn it over to our lovely guest for just a moment to tell us uh, where they can find you on the internet uh, about all the cool things you do. Oh, okay. Well, amazing. Thank you. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Always wanted to die. Um, <laughs> not in that way, though. Um, in a fun way. And it was fun. Uh, so my name is Megan Kelleher, and you can find me on Twitter at Megan Kelleher3. Um, I think I'm also Megan Kelleher3 on Instagram. Uh, I am uh, Megan K on Blue Sky. I also am the DM of Quest Laid Plans, which is a D&D &D 5e podcast, but with like a whole bunch of uh, homebrew stuff, including a mini background game uh involving tarot which is very fun uh so that you can find us um 
questlaidplans.com, wherever you find your podcasts. Uh, I think we're at, at questlaidplans on Twitter. Uh, and we have season two coming up. Um, I'm not sure when this comes out where we will be in season two, but I heard that it's going to have really cool promotional art is what I heard. So um, that's something to look forward to. And you can catch up on all of season one now. I'm also the host of the Ice Tea podcast, which is about figure skating and not TTRPGs. So if you want to uh, be like a cool jock for a second, um, but, you know, still watch people wear cool clothes and, you know, be be dramatic. That's mm-hmm. a great place to do it. And um, I think that's about it. There's probably other stuff that I'm forgetting, but I just thank you so much for having me. This is awesome. Yeah, no, it was a it was a great time. Uh, unfortunately, Millie died, but who knows? I'm pretty sure her legacy will live on. 